Hello everybody, welcome back. In the last episode, we implemented Contentful's rich text field. And in this episode, I want to actually extend this website quite a little bit because currently it looks a little bit poorly. So let's head over to Contentful and set up more content structures and more content types. So what I want to include is bookmarks because I like to keep track of a lot of things. So let's create a new content type that we call bookmark. And this now will have several fields. So we can go in there and we can say title because every bookmark needs a title. Then we, of course, we need a URL. And let's configure this to be a URL field in the UI. And then let's add another one for a comment so that I can remember that uh, why I bookmarked this certain entry. And then let's go for a reference field with several references and let's call it text. So you might now say, okay, Stefan, but we could also go with a collection or a list of strings for tags. But when you're dealing with a lot of content, you will figure out quite quickly that for things like tags, topics, categories, and all these kind of things, usually you need more than just a string. Uh, I'm thinking of a slug here or of additional meta information. And this is why I'm going with a reference field here. So let's create another content type that we call tag. And in this, at least for now, we're just going with a title here. But we're ready to expand that if we need to in the future. So now we can go back to the bookmark type and we can also strengthen the validation for the references. So what we can do now here is we can go to validations and we can only set, okay, I only want to have tags in there. Cool. With this, we now set up a new content structure with bookmarks and tags. So we can now create a new bookmark. And let's see what the first bookmark would be. Let's go with the Smashing Mac, which I read quite often. So let's grab the URL here. We can get that here. Nice, nicely read. And we can say then go down here. Fantastic resource. And now we can create a new tag. And because it's the first one, we can just go with web stuff. All right, let's publish this one and we can go back here. And we can also go back here and publish our first bookmark. So what we can now do is we can go to graphical and we can refresh here because now the GraphQL schema changed and we can go in here and we can start querying the bookmarks. So let's have a look at what is available. So we have here a bookmark collection and we can drill in there with items and then we need a title, the URL, the comment, and then we had the tags. So let's see how this goes. Okay, here with the tags collection, which then follows the same pattern as this one. So we could also open the documentation for this. So it has now, uh, this is a bookmark collection, which means that we could drill in here and we could say items. And let's go one up here. So we have items. And this is now our type tag. So we have here now our title available. So with this, you already see that we're not only querying a person, but also a whole collection and point of bookmarks. So let's put this together here, cool. And we see here that we have the bookmark collection, that we have the title, URL, comment, and the tags collection. And then we can go down. Remember in Contentful, you can connect an entry with an entry with an entry. And with GraphQL, you can write your query to drill down and drill down, which is actually super, super nice. So when we now go back to the UI, I already prepared a component for this. So we can import bookmarks here from, and let's grab the path, compo path components, and then bookmarks. And let's see if it works on the first try here. So we can go down here and we can start using the bookmarks component. And I know that the bookmarks component needs a headline. So let's define a headline which is my bookmarks. And now we have to get the data out, um, out of the response that we just fetched from the GraphQL API. But we didn't update the query yet. So let's grab the query and go here and update that one too. So with this, now we're fetching more data here. And now we're still getting an error because we're not passing bookmarks yet. So we can go in here and we can check what was the key. It was bookmark collection. So we can go here and say bookmark collection and we can pass bookmarks 
down to the bookmarks component. And it is expecting an array. So we go bookmarks collection items. So let's see how this goes. It is still complaining about something. And I know that for the bookmarks, it's also expecting an ID. So let's add that just very quickly by using the sys property. Remember, the sys is the meta information that is available by Contentful. So there is stuff like space ID, published at, but we are right now are just interested in the ID of this given entry. So we can query the, the, we can copy the query again, and we can go here and we can paste that one here to adjust the query. And now let's see. And here we go. Nice. We have a little typo here. So let's fix this one. My bookmarks. But what we just did is that we created a completely new content structure with bookmarks and tags. Then we defined our first entry and we rendered these in the UI. And I think that's pretty, pretty cool. So we will extend this in the next episode to also filter and query more bookmarks. So hang in there and I'll see you soon.